It hurts. It, it hurts. Good morning from Jeju. This is our first day here on Jeju Island. And today's plan is... We have no plan. No plan. No plan day in Jeju. But we found that there's a nice uh, park mountain just next to our hotel. So we are just climbing it and trying to find some cafes and uh, views around here. Supposedly, we should be able to see the city of Jeju from the top of the mountain. So let's have a look. At least right now, we can see the sea. Exactly, so <laughs> Exactly, so when you have no plans you can find lighthouses or destinations like this. Anyways, we're gonna have a closer look at the lighthouse. Maybe there's maybe there is something we can do there. If not, we're just gonna enjoy the lighthouse, the view. Okay, Kideska! <laughs> <laughs> so she was just waving to the plane. If you saw our arriving to Jeju video, I said that the route from Seoul to Jeju is really busy, that there's like more than 100 flights. Turns out it's 250 flights per day. So basically every 15 minutes there's a flight from or from Seoul or from Jeju both ways. And there are also flights from other cities of Seoul. So crazy busy like if you think about Jeju Island it's small and the Jeju city has as mind-blowing busy airport there's so many flights coming in per day and also next to the hotel we can see every few minutes there's a plane landing or going Next to the lighthouse, there's a cafe, and you can drink a coffee. And if you can see, if you can sit here and enjoy this view. It's so nice. It's so high up, so that so the view, if you sit down, you only see the sea and the horizon. Wow! But I will show you also another part of this cafe. It seems to be a bookshop and a library, so you can also read some books. If you, of course, if you know some Korean. But I think this travel will be about crazy views. Everywhere we're gonna go, there, there is a view of the sea or a mountain or nature. So get ready, be ready. In Korea you have many roads that are made out of those small rocks and stones that's meant to massage your bottom of the feet. I never tried this before but we found one in the Jeju mountain park that we are, we are right now. The path itself is really long. I'm not, I'm not sure I can make the old way but I just want to try how does it feel for my feet. <laughs> I'm scared. I heard it will hurt. <laughs> you know what? It hurts. It, <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> Some of the small pebbles, they're so thin, so they just go deep into the feet. But actually, it does massage, but it hurts a little bit. But I will try to 
go a bit further because also the stones, the pattern will change. Kayong also just joined me. He's also in pain, but I feel I feel it's a good massage. But let's wait because the the pattern is changing. Run, run, run! Oh, don't push! Ay, 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 don't push! Shh, don't push! They hurt like crazy. Okay, the new pattern starts now. Oh, okay. I I I thought it's gonna be better. Ah, it's a bit better because this this pattern is a bit rounder. I think these are from the sea sea stones. <laughs> we are not the only ones who are suffering. <laughs> also, the old ladies in front of us there. They're enjoying it, in <laughs> quotation marks. The, the, their bottom of feet are on fire. It does actually feel like this, that the feet are on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Our legs were shaking after one round. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a good adrenaline kick because you have to go back and forth. And once you go to the back, you think, Oh, okay, I can, I can go back. I, I can manage to go back the path. Shh, no. I'm, I'm hot. No. I'm sweating. <laughs> She's sweating. I'm shaking. Ooh. But did oh. the old guy, the still walking there, he said there he goes, he does five rounds every day. So he's a healthy guy. Oh. Ooh, we are weak. Oh. Okay. Uh. But it was a good experience again. Maybe. Next time again in Busan or somewhere, let's see. tour continues and now we decided to have some lunch so we came to a seafood restaurant the menu is not too extensive so I'm gonna have a Pollock roll stew while Kayong is gonna have what are you having and the Kayong is having grilled mackerel so the bunch and just arrived to the table now we're just waiting for the main dishes the smell is good so get something in our bellies so the restaurant also is not in the center of the city it's close to our hotel next to the mountain we just climbed and then makes it even better to discover restaurants that are a little bit out of the central area I always bring rice with the stews like this so don't forget to shake Try the broth of the stew. You have to be careful; it's hot. It smells oh, smells spicy. Smells fishy. <clears throat> it's a little bit spicy, but it's the good Korean spiciness that goes to the throat. It's quite clean. The broth flavor is quite clean. It's not fishy. The main flavor comes from the chilies, and then the potatoes and some herbs that are inside so far so far quite good good not super oily let's also try the mackerel the professional <laughs> the professional Food reviewer said it's not too oily, so let's try. Uh, it's not super oily, but it's really 
again clean flavor not overly fishy it also it has a nice nice uh, flavor from the grilled skin so it has some crunchiness but it's really smooth because of the I know mackerel is not a dry fish mackerel is one of the tastiest fish in my opinion because the, the flesh flavor is so strong so when you eat it's really good to mix with some rice it's gonna be something first for me they have a side dish that is marinated crab as you can see here so the way to eat it you have to well you have to suck it so let's suck mm. Mm. oh it's so soft inside it's so soft then it absorbed all the sauce that has been marinated in oh it's really really nice mm. Mm. I think they have some kind of a citrus inside of the sauce so it makes it specially fresh let's follow it with some rice of course mm. I really like it I'm so curious now if mainland Korea they have the same marinade or it's a bit different because I really feel they added some extra local citrus inside to make it theirs next up let's try my stew so as I said it's pollock roll no pollock and pollock roll you can see the stomach the intestine it looks a little bit like a brain never never had something like this so time to try it just doesn't have much flavor just soft stomach soft intestine but what is good because the broth itself is so strong, it balances itself out so well. Mm. Oh, discovery! Look at this, even really big pieces. And there is some tofu as well, so it's a proper stew. Mm. So nice and flaky and soft. The moment you put it in your mouth, it just dissolves. Mm. Finish up. Welcome to the famous segment, Nanar trying kimchi. Um. Mm. Let's try another one. Again, this is a fresh kimchi. You can feel it that it's not sour yet, so it hasn't fermented that long. Mm. I think with this fish it goes really well. You need something fresh and because of that I will give it 7 out of 10. It's good. Almost reminds me of my kimchi. when you travel without plan we just ended up in a cute cute cafe Kayong has a cup of coffee and a scone because in Korea scones seems to be super popular at the moment you can get scones in every single cafe what we also found out that Tuesdays many of the cafes and some of the ice cream places maybe even small cool independent bakeries they seem to be closed so keep in mind Monday they might be open but Tuesday they have a day off but there are still some places that are open markets are open this cafe seems to be open this cone they have is so soft so far, I only had really hard scones. Mm. Seju, bravo. <laughs> we found an alternative to the Rainbow Road. It seems that uh, in all the harbors, they painted all the blocking stones into rainbow colors. The main one is behind the airport, if you want to have a good photo, but we just decided, actually, no plan traveling just made us found this rainbow 
rainbow blocking thing so yeah here we are Again, our no plan uh, travel brought us to one of the beach promenades or seaside promenades in Jeju city. Right now, the best way to find it is we are next to Hotel Whistle and also why this area seems to be good because behind, behind me, they have a street that's only that, that specializes on sashimi. So if you're into raw fish, sushi, then the street next to Hotel Whistle, next to the seaside promenade it's the place to come and if you also walk here you can see a lot of those cool uh, statues like my dolphin buddies here we are sorry we actually made a plan we're gonna go and get some sushi for dinner that's only one plan we have today and that's the last plan <laughs> We're gonna have two different sushis. One is Jeju fish, and the other one is. What was that one? Like a, we, we actually ordered quite uh, several mixes, like one set of Jeju special fish, and one part of uh, salmon, different kinds of salmon, and also tuna, and also all sorts of prawns. Uh, so, mix up quite a lot of things. And it looks amazing, it looks so fresh. First, something crispy. Mm. So soft, crispy, and sweet. Mm. Good. <laughs> 